Hi guys, welcome back. This is just a quick video because I actually wanted to have a bit of a moan about something that's really been bothering me recently. Before I do that, I want to actually thank everybody. Recently we've had a lot of growth on the channel. We're really, you know, increasing our number of subscribers. You guys have been getting more involved, placing a lot of comments below. Thank you very much. Again guys, don't ever forget, share, like if you liked it. You never know, your friend might actually be interested in it. Get involved. All of your comments are all appreciated. Thank you very much. So, let's get on with what I actually wanted to talk about. As per the title, it's about the iPhone 8. No, I don't have an iPhone 8. However, I do want to talk about a few things that people are getting so excited about that I just happen to think that one, we don't need it. Two, it's not going to happen. First of all, let's talk about the screen. People have been saying, oh, the iPhone 8 is going to come with an organic screen. Let's not forget that the iPhone 7 came with a new screen as opposed to the iPhone 6. However, if you put it side to side, you can't even tell the difference. So this new organic screen, supposedly much better, you probably ain't going to see the difference. So do I care about it? No. Apple, don't waste your money on it. Just give me a slightly bigger resolution screen and maybe a slightly bigger uh, uh, size itself, i.e. like what they're saying is going to be a 5.5 inch rather than a 5.5, and I'll be happy. What about the curved screen? This for me is actually an absolute nightmare. If you are like me and you protect your phone, you're going to want to put a case on it. A curved screen means that there is less area for your case to actually grab the screen. So it's even less protection. A curved screen is going to be more expensive to replace when you drop your phone. And if you have an iPhone 7 Plus or any Plus iPhones, you know how expensive it is to actually replace one of those screens. 200 plus pounds. So the Apple, don't do it. But I don't think Apple is going to do this at all. Apple is all about functionality. A curved screen, how are they going to add anything else to iOS to, you know, use the curved screen? Don't think it will happen. The other one that people are talking about is obviously charging and particularly wireless charging. Now, if you're an iPhone user, you know that people have been crying for this for a long time. If you're an Android user, you know people have been having it for ages. I mean, the Samsung's had it for ages. Now, what I want to know is how many people that have got wireless charging actually went out there, spent 40 pounds for the additional wireless charging pad and actually use it. And I'll tell you why many don't actually use it, because it's just as easy to plug a cable in. In fact, more reliable. Now, however, if wireless charging was a new technology that apparently Apple has patented and working with a third party company, I'll probably link the name on, of this company below from the rumors that we've been hearing, that you can walk into a room and somehow transmit uh, power to your phone so your phone is charging as you're walking in the room and moving around, that on the other hand would be really handy. I personally don't think Apple is going to introduce wireless charging. I can't see why there is any benefit to it. One of the biggest things that you people went crazy about when the 7 came out is the fact that it didn't look any different to the 6. In fact, when you look at it, it doesn't. Personally, for me, this wasn't a deal breaker because I understand the hardware changes are drastic enough to warrant an upgrade. However, people are now saying we're going to have a 7S, uh, you know, uh, a 7S Plus and an 8, where the 8 will be the premium. We've talked about this last time around, or in fact the last two times around where Apple was due to come out with a whole new redesign. I tell you what guys, it's going to be a 7S. It's not going to be an iPhone 8. Apple, this is how Apple does things. They do iPhone 5, iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, iPhone 6S, and so on and so forth. I see no logic for Apple to change this mechanism. Would I like to see an iPhone 8? It's just a number. As long as they come out with a redesigned phone with all the features that I'd like, I couldn't care what number it has to it. Now, we all know how aggressive and brutal Apple can be when removing features or old technology and so on and so forth. Think of the headphone jack for argument's sake. Personally, I think that we have to move forward somehow, but there have been rumors that Apple is actually going to be removing the volume rockers and also the mute button. And some of them have even gone as far as saying that the power button is going to be removed. First of all, logically, I can't see how they're going to make that work. You know, how are you going to do a soft reset? Um, the mute button itself, for me, is, is brilliant. I think they shouldn't remove it. 
Uh, it's so handy when you walk into a meeting and you can just silence your phone really quickly. I don't think that's going to happen. There's no logic for it to happen. Apple isn't going to do this. So don't believe none of that nonsense you've been hearing. Price is obviously another topic that people have been talking a lot about. Whether you're reading this in the local newspaper or you follow any YouTube channels like I do, like everything Apple Pro, we get a lot of great stuff from this channel. If you don't know who they are, I'll put a link on my description. Go and check them out. The guys are absolutely unbelievable. However, I wanted to say that there isn't a question about it's going to be a thousand pounds or it should cost over a thousand pounds. It will for sure cost over a thousand pounds and you shouldn't be alarmed about this. I think you should, if anything, you should have be realistic about it and realize that this is inevitable. This is a premium device. And what I mean by premium device is, look, if you have to be worried about how much it's going to cost, then you can't afford it. For example, I'm not going to walk into Ferrari and go to the salesperson and go, hey dude, what's the Marsburg Allen on this Ferrari? He's going to look at me and go, sir, if you have to ask that question, you can't afford the vehicle. And this is the case. All of us love all of these devices that cram so much technology into it and are now complaining about price. This is why Apple have a range of devices, the iPhone 5C, the iPhone 5 SE. By the way, review on that coming up soon. So if you've got any questions on it or you want me to answer those on the video, let me know. So it will cost over a thousand with respect of Apple adding more storage or not. And also, I just wanted to wrap this up now really quickly because I want you to bear in mind that just like everybody else that you're watching with these rumors, they're just rumors. Me, I've been an Apple uh, customer for many years, probably from 2007 when the first one was released. And I've seen the trend that everyone else is following, but we all just seem to get carried away with all these rumors. And when it comes to the release date, none of it comes true. So this is my honest personal opinion only. So if you if you see it like I do, you probably will agree with most of the stuff I mentioned. If you don't, I'd love to hear from you. Comment below. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully I was entertaining and I'll see you in the next one, guys.